Hi, welcome to the coast of Kenya. Do you know, I was just unpacking my bag and it just made me think I should perhaps share some of the things that I've traveled with because obviously I'm traveling fairly light so I have to pare down everything and only take the things that I absolutely feel that I have to travel with. So I just thought I'd share that because it's quite an interesting exercise as when you're faced with so many things what actually are the essentials that I go away with. So here we go. So a lot of them have Liz Love's affiliate discounts, which we'll share with you. Some of them don't, some of them are quite basic, but I'll just, I'll just put them all out here anyway, okay? So uh, fundamental, I take my Earl Grey tea bags, fair trade, obviously, so I travel with big box of those because my family also drink a lot of Earl Grey tea. And then talking about tea, you may well have seen on my Instagram stories that I put a teaspoon of creatine in a cup of tea or a cup of coffee every morning. This is what it looks like. It's from Strong Nutrients and it's just a very tasteless white powder and it's fairly heat stable. So don't add it when the water's really boiling, but you can certainly add it to warm drinks or you can add it to cold drinks. You can add it to water if you like. And it's really good for helping to preserve muscle mass. It's also part of the ATP energy cycle. So it gives you a little bit of a lift. And I've been doing quite a bit of research. You'll find lots of medical clinical trials on PubMed, for example, which is kind of like the gold standard for medical trial publications. So if, you, if you're interested, look up creatine on PubMed. And so many benefits, it's, it seems to be very safe, very well tolerated by everybody. And because we're losing muscle mass at such an alarming rate as we get older, anything that we can do to pop a little bit back in to the system together, of course, with a bit of an energy boost has to be a good idea. So I've started to actually be much more conscious of creatine. This is from Strong Nutrients. I buy mine from them and I think there's a 12% Liz Loves discount on their products. I think it's really good. They just repackaged actually. This is one that I bought last year. Um, I think the new packages are red. But anyway, it's the same stuff, creatine. Um, another thing that I always travel with, which again, you might have seen on my Instagram stories, is a little bit of sea salt. And that's because I make an electrolyte drink first thing in the morning. So when I get up, it's about rehydration. So it's not just drinking water, it's actually drinking something that's got the minerals that we lose overnight. So that's sodium, it's good to add a little bit of potassium, a little bit of magnesium maybe. So I travel with this, it's sea salt and that has more trace minerals in it than regular table salt. So you could have sea salt, you could have pink Himalayan salt, you could have rock salt, but there's natural forms of salt. This is really handy because it's got a little grinder on the end and then you just take the cap off and you can see, then you can just pop that into a glass of water first thing. And then I just add a squeeze of fresh lemon for the potassium and also of course you're getting a little bit of vitamin C. So that is my travel tip. Uh, what else do I travel with? Okay, I have been, Really looking after my skin, obviously, I travel with a sunblock. Um, this is a nice brand, PCA Skin. There's a 10% Liz Loves discount on that at the moment, but I don't think it's staying for very long. So if you want to grab that, this is the one that I'm using. It's an SPF 45 and it is quite sheer. So it looks quite white when you first apply it, but then it just disappears to nothing. And I use this, I mean, I literally use this on the backs of my hands, particularly top it up and on my lower arms here as well, because I have noticed that I'm getting a lot of age spots on that area because of all the sun exposure over the years. And I also use that on my face and my neck and particularly focus on here as well and shoulders and backs of the neck if I've tied my hair back like I have now. So yeah, check out PCA. I think that's a good brand. And if you want to look a little bit brown, and this is what I do when I travel, I've got these tanning drops. They're a company called Tan Lux or Tan Lux. And you literally just add a drop or two to your moisturizer and it just turns your moisturizer into a self tan. So again, you know, that's why I'm looking a little bit browner than normal. It's fake, fake it to make it. But of course, you can boost it up a bit and this is great. I've done an Instagram live with the founder, fab female founder of this brand called 35,000. I really like this because it is a three in one serum. So you've got an SPF 30, which is good. So I use that if I'm in the strong sun, like I am here, I'll put my base on of sunscreen and then I'll apply this as well. 
and this is tinted so it sort of evens out skin tone it only comes in one shade so all the guesswork is done just helps to subtly even out skin tone and it's also got hyaluronic acid in so very good for aging skin just helping to plump and smooth and i just use a pump or two of this just all over my face and neck and you can see it just sort of gives you a little bit of a sheen evening skin tone it's not as heavy as a foundation but it lasts really well and i know that i can go out and my skin is looking kind of a bit better than normal and it's also protected and hydrated with hyaluronic acid so that's kind of my um, beauty routine i do actually also top it up with a bit of this this is delilah great british brand this is their compact matte bronzer this is the light medium shade and as you can see it's a really good color it's not scary it's not orange it's a slight sort of biscuity terracotta -y, peachy color and i just use that i just sweep that all over and then if i want a little bit of extra kind of makeup look this is a mascara that i've been trying which i really like it's uk lash and it's waterproof so great if you're somewhere where you're swimming, you're in the water, obviously, but it means it doesn't budge. And I don't normally like waterproof mascaras because I find them hard to remove, but this one actually comes off really well. And the other thing I like about it is it's got conditioning ingredients for your lashes and it's also got a slightly curved brush. Can you see that? The angle of it. So when you put it on and sweep it up and out, then it just gives you your lashes a little bit of a lift without having to curl them. So I really like this. I've just done an Instagram live with Ruth, who's their UK ambassador, and we have a Liz Loves on this one, but it's only until the 21st of Feb. So if you want to get some money off and you're interested, they also do lash serums, which is really good for thinning lashes and thinning eyebrows. The testimonials on those have been really impressive. And then just a little bit of makeup, actually. I'll do this now while I'm doing my my recording. This again is Delilah and it's a lipstick. I tend to only just sort of bring one with me. This one is called Grace. It's a really pretty colour. You see that pinky colour? And I just find that a bit of pink, a pop of pink, just brightens everything, kind of puts you in a better mood. So, just like that. See? Just really simple. And you can also use that on your cheeks if you want to give yourself just a little bit of cream blush. So I tend not to travel with very much makeup, but you know, sometimes you want to just, just brighten your face up a little bit. So there you go, those are my makeup essentials in my bag. Now, of course, I travel with quite a few supplements, but which ones to take? I'm not gonna bring everything with me. And I really like the ones that come in the packets because they're easy to pack, they're very lightweight. First up is Ingenious Beauty Collagen Capsules. I've been taking this for at least two years now. I take it every day, I wouldn't be without it. 20% off with Liz Loves. Not only have you got encapsulated collagen, so it's protected, but it also contains astaxanthin, which is a super powerful antioxidant. Very good, very good for supporting the immune system. Very good if you're being out in the sun. Very good just generally for skin health and for cell protection as we age. And it's also got hyaluronic acid. So, you know, with this and the serum, for example, you know that you're getting double duty. You're getting hyaluronic acid on the skin and you're also getting it inside the system as well. So that is something that always comes with me. And then I always take this first thing in the morning. This is a little packet of NMN. And it's something that we lose as we age. Again, it's part of the energy process. And I just take a little bit like that, little scoop, just under the tongue. I've already had mine today, but hey, mm, I'll have a little bit more. And it tastes sort of lemony, sherbety. I've been taking this also for a couple of years and I've done quite a lot of research into it. And I think it is excellent for helping cell damage and extending cell lifespan. So again, if you're midlife and beyond, looking at getting a better second half of life, I think using some of these pro-aging supplements can be really interesting. So check out NMN. It is quite pricey. I'm very pleased that we have a 20% Liz Loves, and I buy this and I use my discount. Um, something else that I also get, 
and I travel with is Super Me, and this is from Life Armor. And this is relatively new for me. It's got magnesium in it, and we know that magnesium is used in so many cell processes. It helps us to sleep, it helps cell regulation, it helps anxiety. I mean, it's just a really wonder, mighty miracle. Miracle mineral, mighty mineral. And not only has it got magnesium in it, but it's also got ashwagandha, which is the adaptogenic herb. So again, very good for stress. You know, adaptogenic herbs are super clever little things because they will lift us up if we need an energy lift, but they'll also calm us. So they adapt to what the body needs, hence the name adaptogenic. I find I sleep better, I feel better, my mood is improved, and I just generally feel better for taking ashwagandha. I don't take it all the time, but I do go through phases when I'll take it for a few months, and I'm in that phase at the moment, so it came with me. This has also got other calming herbs in it. It's got passion flower and rhodiola in it as well. So again, really good, just for, oh, just taking the edge off everything. So with traveling especially, I find that that is really good. The other thing actually that I get from Youth and Earth, and I've been buying this also in bulk, is a product that they've got called Preservage. So Preserve Age, I guess is how you could read that. And I started taking this because it's got some of the key nutrients in it that I normally take separately. And what I like about this is that they've actually combined them in good strengths, really good generous doses in a capsule. So I haven't got to have four different things, they're all in one capsule. And having done the live recently with their founder, Ed, and we talked about dosage and efficacy, and he really does use good quantities of the ingredients to make sure they really work. So for example, this contains resveratrol, which there've been lots of clinical studies looking at resveratrol and cell aging. Curcumin, which is the key ingredient in turmeric. So we're looking at inf inflammation, anti-inflammatories, quercetin which is a fascinating fascinating ingredient and as we move into hay fever season you may have remembered last year me talking about quercetin for helping with hay fever and it's honestly since taking quercetin i've been off all my hay fever medication for the last couple of years it's really been amazing and bioperine and i'll do a whole other sort of story i think on exactly what these do, but it's all about boosting sirtuins, which are the components of the cells that we need as we age, and it's, it's a good formulation. So check out Youth and Earth if you're interested. Preservage, four in one, so it's, it's good value to take with you because you've just got the one little capsule, and I take two of those every morning, and you get 20% off with Liz Loves, which is good because, again, it's not the cheapest, but I do think it's worth it. Um, just before I go, a couple of other quick things. Vitamin D. So this is my vitamin D spray, vitamin D3 with K2. We know that vitamin D works harder and better if it's combined with K2. I like this, give it a shake, spray it in. You may wonder why I'm topping up with vitamin D when I'm actually somewhere really sunny. That's because I don't go out and fry myself in the sun, so I still feel the need to actually get, make sure that I've got vitamin D coming into my system. So I take this, I travel with it. Again, it's an easy thing to go in my bag and I just feel better supported and I feel that I'm protecting my immune system if I'm having my vitamin D. Last but not least, biting critters. I am a magnet, honestly, I tell you, the minute I land anywhere, you know, be it midges in Scotland or, you know, out on the water or by a pond or overseas, you know, I think the, the mosquitoes, they just send out a red alert to all their little friends and say, hi guys, she's landed over here because they literally make a beeline for me. They love me. So I react really badly to insect bites, but I love this. It's a brand called Alfresco and it was developed by a lady who used to volunteer at the Chelsea Physic Garden in London, where I'm also a patron and a supporter of the garden. And she was working in the garden, getting bitten to death by uh, bugs and mosquitoes. And she thought there has to be a better way. I don't want to cover myself in DEET and chemicals. So she created this fragrance brand, but it's been clinically tested by the Hospital of Tropical Diseases in London to actually stop you getting bitten. And I tell you, it works. So she does lots of different varieties. This is the Alfresco one. I think this was her original one. And you can get this in a body lotion. So after I've had my shower every evening, 
I will put this on as a body lotion and then I'll go out in the evening and I'll know that I don't get bitten, even if I'm sitting you know, at a table outside. And then she has this cologne and it's really nice. It's, it's I would say it's unisex. It's like a, a traditional eau de cologne. So boys, girls, anybody could use this. And you can see it says on there, anti-bug bite power. And it's very light and fresh and really good. If you want to zhuzh it up a bit for the evening, they do this version, which is called Pl Planet Power. Planet Power, I thought it was Plant Power, but no, it's Planet Power. This is the big size. I love it so much, I actually do bring the big size with me, but I also put a travel size in my bag. Or you can get little travel mini sprays as well. And honestly, this is absolutely true. Whenever I wear this, and I usually wear it in the evening because it's a little bit heavier, people are just stopping me saying, what is your perfume? What are you wearing? That smells amazing. And I say, well, it's this Planet Power from this anti-mosquito brand. And I'm wearing it because it's gonna ward off the biting bugs, but actually it smells amazing. And just a little spritz. You can spritz it through your hair. You can you know, spritz it over your back if you're wearing something that's open at the back and that's hard to reach with bug cream. But, oh, smells so, so good. And we do have, I think it's 20% off all everything on El Fresco. I will be doing a live with them actually a little bit later in the year. But if you are somebody who's getting bitten wherever you are in the world, then really stock up with this because it is excellent. So I hope that's helpful. Anything here that you love? Have I mentioned any of your favorites? What have I missed? Let me know, you can pop a comment below. And as I say, a lot of what I've talked about do have Liz Loves discounts, which I know really help at the moment. And don't forget, we have got a special Liz Loves page on the Liz Our Wellbeing website. I'll make sure that we include a link in all the details here. And we've even started sending out a special Liz Loves newsletter. It goes out twice a month. It's a separate mailing list from, from our normal newsletter. And it's specifically filled with offers and money off and cost cutting discounts. So if you want to know more about the Liz Loves discounts, then make sure that you're signed up to that newsletter as well. Anyway, I hope this is helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye.